What's happening, guys? Welcome back to the episode of the Let's Play Pokemon Silver version. In the last episode, uh, we arrived here in Alvine City, got strength, got a good rod, we caught a Chinchow named Joel, and uh, we were told by Jasmine that her sick Ampharos needs some healing, and we gotta go across the sea and reach Cywancy for Chief Medicine. So in this episode, we are going to do exactly what she says, across the sea. First, let's spray uh, Super Repel, because, uh, I bought those and hold on, where's this? Okay. I'm gonna put them up top like I did with regular pulse and scroll all the way down here. And there we go. That's where it wants to be. 200 steps of non Pokemon stuff. But uh, in order to do that, our Pokemon needs to be pretty high level. Because the Pell only stops Pokemon that are lower than you. So that's why I'm gonna move uh, Muscle up front. And since we learned Surf on our Chinchou, we are able to Surf, so let's go. I like how the animation to Surf looks like a Lapras, and that's pretty cool. But now that we have Surf, we are able to do a lot of side quests now, and I will probably maybe do an extra episode where I just go around uh, Jojo region and it's getting a bunch of stuff now because we have Surf. But uh, maybe, maybe not, that's still exciting yet. Let's try to pass these swimmers. These swimmers are so annoying! Oh, God. What is this? We've got muscle evolving. We got a macho. Alright. See, so yeah, a macho evolves to level 28. We get is a macho. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nice attack stat. Nothing else really goes for it. But here is a really a dilemma for us because um, in order to get a uh, Machop's last evolution, I need to trade it to with someone else and evolve to Machin. And I can't really do that on this emulator. If I could figure out how to trade to yourself. On this, then I will evolve Macho into Macho. Until then, I'm only going to use a Macho, and that would be pretty cool because uh, it's something different not to use a fully evolved Pokemon. And here we are inside uh, Wood City, and it's awesome. So, uh, really nothing going on here, but uh, let's go talk to this girl. Where's the, maybe she knows where the medicine's at. Chuck the leader. He's fighting Pokemon something like that, and oh, this is like another gym. So I want to see Pokemon Leader Jim, Chuck, his roaring fist to the talking. And uh, if you guys didn't know, Chuck is actually the fifth gym leader, not the sixth. If you guys kind of assumed that um, Jasmine was the sixth, I mean, fifth gym leader, it's actually the fifth. You see in our badge case, Chuck becomes four Jasmine, that's how it is in the game. So that means we will pick on Chuck, but first I want to find this medicine place. Five years of tradition, so I want to see this pharmacy. Oh, here it is. Let's go talk to this guy, maybe he has our mess. Your Pokemon apparently fine. There's something wrong with you. The last Pokemon is in trouble. I got it! This ought to do the trick, and we get the secret potion. So here's the secret potion, um, to heal up the Ampharos. And then, our Pell Wolf, we got something special. And I believe there's something special in this house, we we'll talk to this guy. Ha, I'm shocked! A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left. What if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look out for a Pokemon farm? Yes! And here we take care of this guy's um, Pokemon. That Pokemon is a Shuckle. Named Shucky. This is probably the only one in the game you can get like this way. But actually, if you look at those rocks right off out of Olivine, you can actually look under rocks and find uh, wild Shuckles by using Rock Smash. But uh, Shuckles aren't really the greatest Pokemon, their defenses are really bad. So I'm just going to um, put Shuckle into the PC because I really don't want it in my team because it would be kind of pointless. And go. Deposit. No, not. Oh, I didn't want to deposit you. I'm, God, I'm wasting time here. So let's go withdraw AV real quick. And I'm probably going to heal up my guys real quick and I'll meet you guys outside the Pokemon Center. Okay, we are all to it up, so let's go up north. 
I'd say there's some exploring around here before we gotta go, uh, go to the gym. And, nope, nothing here, so, it's time to take on Chuck. And we are going to be mainly using A, because like the description said, Chuck is um, a fighting type generator. And in order to be fighting types, you'll be kind of using flying types. Or psychic types, like you guys can catch an Abra or Drowsy if you kept it, then turn for a macho like me. But, um, if you kind of want either one of these things, you are required to fight both these guys, so I guess I'll show it off. So talk about that guy first. My Pokemon and I are bound together by a friendship. Our bond will never be broken. Is that so? I'm pretty sure we have the same qualities with your Pokemon like we do ours. And we got Black Belt Yoshi. He has a hit only, so a lot of fine types in gym. Let's hope that AVA can do it. Probably sweet. This guy's team, but I really wish I had a stronger flying type move than Peck. Because it really isn't that good. And oh, jump kick. That should do a lot. But who cares? Dying goes to Hip On Lee. Now, Hip On Lee is actually a really good, strong, fast Pokemon. Really offensive. And here comes this guy. Your martial arts fears nothing. This guy actually has the counterpart to uh, Hip On Lee. And uh, that is Hip On Chan. Hip On Chan is actually a really defensive Pokemon. Hitmonchan didn't really get good in the Pokemon series until 4th generation because it knows the elemental punches, much like our macho, and uh, elemental punches become physical in 4th generation, which makes them really amazing, and uh, Hitmonchan is a really good physical attacker like most fighting types, so that's where it benefits the most, and it has a really good ability in 4th generation, and it goes down really easily from these packs I got that crit. Maybe it's gonna reach level 28, so it's all caught up with Macho as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, that was that guy. And see, we are going to need strength for that, so what I'm gonna do is actually teach strength to one of our guys. And I'm going to teach it to muscle. Just cause it fits. How can Garfield not no strength. It's a freaking normal type move. I don't understand that. I gotta get rid of one of these moves. Um, I'm going to need you. I'm gonna need. I'm trying to think what will I need. A good fire type punch will come in handy. You. I definitely need you that stab attack. I, I'm thinking Thunder Punch will be the most useless thing right now. Yep, Thunder Punch it is. Oh well. I I can always relearn it later on. Because I'm not get rid of HMs. The thing is about HMs that you cannot uh, forget it to learn a, TM, a move leveling up into the TM. So you gotta go to the move leader, which I'll publish show later on. But we gotta fight this guy, so let's go talk to him. Where's your fist your fist talk? I didn't know your fist could talk. Uh, mine can't. I don't, I don't know. You must be some like weird, freaky mutant guy. But he's a mod shop as well. That's cool. He's about to level up. You'd be cool like me and have a bald macho. I gotta heal AB because AB's gonna be, like I said, the main guy. And that's a lot. Okay, maybe I'm kind of doubting uh, Peck and uh, Sisotoss. That does. A the exact same amount as the Pokemon's level. Let's go to Joel, and the guy had to be level 25, and I happen to have exactly 25 HP. That's pretty stupid. But let's go to Joel just to get the experience. It's pretty lucky for us that uh, A Geek did all the work for Joel. Gives a nice chunk of experience, and he's a. Uh, oh, a Macho. If we can defeat this Macho, we'll get a nice chunk of experience. Let's go for Thunder Wave. I should have gone Supersonic, maybe that would help a lot better. Oh, right shot. That would do a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. Go for Supersonic. Oh, I wouldn't not. Side Toss looks like he's throwing like the earth at us. I always thought that as a younger kid that it was the shape of earth. I don't want to go to Garfield. Let's go to Crack a Tower. Maybe I can get some damage with some Ember. He's uh Stab Attack. And he needs to learn a better fire type as well. 
Okay. Oh, I know the rock slide! Urgh. How come your nose rock slide? Mine doesn't! That's possible. That's cheating! Come on, Angie, get paralyzed. Where's A beat when you need him? Oh, no! Stupid Machoke. Oh, it's tearing up my team right now. That's it. Time for Mirror Match. Let's see who's Machoke is better. He knows Rock Slash, so it makes it a little bit better. But we have the element to punch it. And hopefully, this knock it out. Oh, no, what? Why would you use Rock Slide on me? Why don't you use Cry Chop? I resist Rock Type moves, I hope you know. There you go. And you scratch up one more time. And, oh, almost another level up. Alright, stupid knob. So, uh, here's the strength puzzle. It's very simple. Basically, what I have to do is press talk to boulders, much like doing serve. All you're going to do is move one of these guys, both these guys up. Either move it left or right, doesn't really matter. Don't push up because you will get stuck and have to move out of the gym and can re-enter. So we gotta battle this guy real quick, and we get to face the gym leader after this. So this guy shouldn't be that hard to fight, and why did I switch around my Pokemon? Oh, I gotta have Garfield out in front. Crab, and this guy's a manky. Shucks! He's not good for us. Okay, let's go into Muscle, because Muscle's the only other Pokemon we have. Crap, it's not turning good out for me. This episode has been not good because losing like all our Pokemon in this stupid fighting gym. And this gym, as I can call it, our genre, it can be kind of hard if you don't have the proper Pokemon. And my team is kind of suited for this, not really. Because AV it's good, my other Pokemon really aren't. So if AV goes down, I might actually have a hard time with this gym. For right now, it's just about these trainers. And how do y'all speed me? I don't get that. Well, Mikey's are pretty fast, but the Machokes don't have the greatest speed. Look at Machokes' face, it looks so weird. It looks like a turtle, like when Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Let's look at it. It looks so resemble it. If it had a shell on his back and had like those little bandanas, it could probably fit in as one of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And Opal Primate, oh my god, one of the fastest fighting type move, I mean, Pokemon in the game. If you guys remember my Leaf Green LP, I actually used the Primate on my team, man. Oh my god, boy did it do good. Reminds me of Jackson. And all crap. Oh, I don't know why you wouldn't use Rage, because it would do a lot more damage. And hope you quick, come on, quick, quick, help me out, please, please. Yeah, I called it like a champ. Awesome. Down goes this guy. So, time to face Chuck. Before that, I'm going to heal up. I'll go to the Pokemon Center. I'll meet you guys back when I'm done. I'll see you guys then. Alright, so I healed up real quick. And, uh, let's go. Let's talk to this lady real quick if I go in. Cross the seat to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if you put one new fly. But you can't use the fly without this to the chip edge. If you meet the gym leader here, come see me. I have a nice gift for you. So, like she said, she would give us the HM fly if we beat Chuck. So that's what we gotta do. So let's go back to the strength puzzle and come up to here. Hopefully, don't mess it up, and we don't. That's good, that's good. So let's make sure AV's up front. Here we go, let's go talk to him. Oh, oh, oh. So if you come this far, let me tell you I'm tough. My book will crush toads and shatter bones. Watch this. Oh, oh. There, scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. And alright, we are going to face Chuck. Alright. Um, if you guys didn't know, Chuck is actually supposed to be like a play on uh, Chuck Norris. Yeah. So he's off level 27 Primate. It could be a little trouble, but that's uh, no problem for us. Let's hopefully Peck will do nice chunk of damage and it does over half. That's pretty awesome. I only use Leer, so I'm not worried about that. And a two hit KO. And down goes the Primate. So, right, Leavey's looking good. And he only has two Pokemon for us to look at this, not a uh, little problem. And he's going to send out his second Pokemon, which is a Polyrath. That's pretty cool. It's ball form Polyworld. And Polyrath actually gets the sub type of fighting. So, that's really a unique typing of flying, I mean, fighting and water. 
but it does add weaknesses along with psychic and flying, so you gotta be careful with that. And see how much this pack does. It's level 32, so it's higher than any of our Pokemon. And oh, Critical Hit does over half. And it knows Hypnosis. Okay, that could be a little um, annoying. And we do need to wake Oh, good. We have a good amount of awakenings. Thank you. And it's gonna use Dynamic. Oh, crap it hit. Dynamic Punch is a really low accuracy uh, fighting type move. And oh, Critical Hit's knock us out. If a dynamic punch uh, hits, then um, it will always uh, confuse you 100% of the time. So uh, I'm going to Jewel, and sadly Jewel does not, not know any electric type moves. So thankfully the dynamic punch misses, and it only has 5 PP, so uh, it's really good for us. Let's go into some uh, pair of fusion action going on here. And I'm probably going to go into... Uh, muscle here, and I should catch Thunder Punch. It would be very useful on this Pyrat. Let's go to Muscle because it's really gonna help us out. Come on, hit yourself again! Hit yourself again! Or be free for us. I'm fine with that. So let's Karate Chop, and down goes Muscle with a critical hit. Yeah, good job, Muscle. And oh, first Pokemon to reach level 30. That's pretty awesome. We defeated Chuck and got our fifth gym badge. All right, what? Huh? I lost. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. All right, so we got the Storm Badge, our fifth badge of Johto League. We are more than halfway there to five. Storm Badge makes all the Pokemon up to level 70 obey with, with even traded ones. It also lets you use po Pokemon with high when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. We team 01, which is Dynamic Punch. In uh, later games, TM01 actually turns into Focus Punch. But, uh, yeah, it's another part that move. But, anyways, we defeated Chuck, and we can go obtain Fly now. So, let's talk to uh, her real quick and get her Fly. And there we go. HMO2 flies. Now, once it's just AV, uh, we can fly back into All My City. But, uh, I'll see you for the next episode. You guys, thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Silver Version, and I'll see you guys next time.